Hi friends, so today I'm finally going to do a review on something. I know I have promised that I will make reviews on my channel and I have yet to review any beauty products or any products whatsoever. Today I'm going to review something that has been huge on YouTube these past few months and it's the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara and of course I've already opened it so I have somewhat of an opinion on it already but my first try using a mascara isn't always the most accurate representation of it so I'm going to try it again let me just read to you what this package says and claims so it says 91% saw intense and volumized lashes 98% saw lengthening effects and 87% saw more beautiful lashes I wonder who they tested to get those percentages you know so this is what the actual tube looks like let me take it out of here so up close one day I'm going to get this down guys this focusing thing because whatever so it looks like this and I know you're thinking it it looks just like the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and I've tried that mascara before and I don't recall liking it too much that's an unpopular opinion because everyone loves that mascara anyways i'm going to try this out for the day again for you guys i have a short day i have to go to my internship and i'm only going to be there for like four hours and i'll tell you guys if it flakes if it holds a curl and if it smudges so let's apply this baby before i do that let me also show you the wand maybe this time i can actually get it to focus so that's the wand it's big and fluffy I wish I had the better than sex mascara on me but I think I threw that away actually because I tried that a couple of years ago we're going to apply this let me move closer to the camera hi we're up here close and personal again so here's the wand again so this is the first coat and off bat you can tell that it's doing something, but is it doing enough? I don't think so. Let me put another coat in. I feel like this mascara is super clumpy. I'm not sure if you can see that. Let me bring you up close. It's super clumpy, guys. I don't know if you like this look. Maybe this is what some of you guys like, but this is not my thing. I like it when a mascara separates and curls and volumizes. You know, it does the whole nine yards, like the Maybelline Last Sensational. I'm going to do my other eye and then I'll be back. All right, I'm back. I've applied the mascara to both eyes and I also applied it to my bottom lashes and I do not like it for the bottom lashes. The wand is too big. Let me zoom in. So this is what my lashes are looking like. I don't know if you can see. Um, I'm not a fan. I know everyone loves this mascara, but I do not care for it. I think it's clumpy. It does nothing for my eyes. I feel like my lashes look short and stubby, which they're not when I'm using like my favorite mascara, the Maybelline Sensational. I will always compare every drugstore to that mascara because that mascara is my holy grail. And I will not stop searching for other mascaras, drugstore mascaras that can compete with it. Right now it's 8.57. Yes, Shawn Mendes is my lock screen. I will probably check in with you guys at 1. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey friends, so I feel like this is such a gross angle, but I'm back and it's been five hours. It's 83 degrees outside and my eyelashes are sticking together. It hasn't smudged and there are like no flakes, but my eyelashes are sticking together and I do not like that. That's all I can say for this mascara. If I could rate it out of 10, I would give it a six only because it clumps and it sticks together but I see the volume and I see where they're coming from but it's not my favorite and I don't even know why it's being hyped up so much thanks for watching my first review I, I hope it helped you and please subscribe if you want to and I'll see you guys on my next video bye